Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make a fun fold card. This one I've got here actually opens back to front purely because of how I was originally going to decorate it during the Facebook Live. But you can have this either way. There's actually probably about four ways you can make this card. I'm going to talk you through those. But I just finished it on the front with some of the scraps. I've just done that quilt effect, which I shared in one of my scraps videos. And then you open it up and you have this fun effect here. So you can stick this panel here, which is a separate panel on that side. You could have a double gate fold. So it would fold over and then the other one would fold over that way. So it was because originally I was going to have this design stamped in here. So I needed this on the left hand side and then I ended up changing it and didn't change that. But it's fine. It still looks really nice. It displays really well. And then you've got your space on the back here. I just need to cut a panel to stick there to be able to write my message. I'm going to do a double version, so we're actually going to make two of these and put them side by side just to show you another way. And um, I'm going to frame this lovely sunflower again. So let me show you how to make it. So I've already gone ahead and made this one half here. So what we're going to do is, like I said, make two and you're going to have one over the other like this. So you're going to have this lovely frame effect with your image in the middle. You could then add another one of these on this side. So then the whole card will fold down and you would have a double gatefold that would then open up to this even bigger what I like to call a showstopper card so first of all you want to cut yourself one or two pieces of eight by seven because you can also just make this part you don't even need that section there so you could just have this it looks really nice so two pieces of eight by seven so I've got my white piece of cardstock here so first of all we're going to work on this score line here so this one I've come over one and a half and I've come down two inches. So you can use a ruler. You might want to make a template first like this, and then you can kind of lay this down and you can just line up against all of those score lines. So I'm going to come across one and a half here, but I want to start scoring at the two marker here. So you can pop your ruler in just to give you something to kind of work along. I tend to just hover mine, but if you just bring it down and then at two inches, start scoring and you're going to score down to five inches so this is a three inch section okay so down to five like so then if you rotate it this way what we want to do now is these score lines here now these score lines you're going to start just from the end of that score line you just made and you're going to come down to five inches again so this one's really easy now because you can just pop that in you can see it lines up with the two inch there bring it all the way down to five inches and again, this one lines up with the five inch marker. You're just going to pull it down to five inches like so. OK, next, pop it back this way again. And we want to do this score line here. So I'm just going to pop that one in and you can see it's at the three and a half. So I've just marked three and a half there. Now that's one inch wide. So at three and a half, I'm going to hover this down to the one inch and just start scoring like so. And then if you don't want to hover your stylus all the way down to this bit, if you just flip it over and again, go to three and a half and then just start at one inch, just down to that score line. OK, so now we've got those two. And then again, and you can also then just go over that in the right you know, way, like so. Then pop it again this way. So now we're going to do these ones here on each side. So you're just starting it from the end of that score line. You're going to bring it down to six and a half. So this one will line up with one inch on your scoreboard. So bring it all the way down to six and a half. And again, you can just flip that one over. Down to six and a half. If you do do an extra score line where you shouldn't, you see I've added one there, just pop it on the back. You want a, a smoother surface and you can just rub it out from the back like so. So I'm just going to pop that one back. Just find the track that it sits in. Just so that's in the right way, like so. OK, so now pop it back along this way and we can do this score line, which is at five inches, which is down to the end of these first two that you did here. So you should see you've got the ends of them there and it will line up with your five inch score line. So I'm just doing that one. And then again, just gonna flip it over and do that one there. And then the last one is just to do these ends here, which is at six and a half. You're just joining them up. And you'll see again, the end of that lines up with the six and a half. And again, just flip that over like 
like so. Okay, so you should now have something like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut down these four score lines here. Okay, so I like to use a metal ruler and you're going to lay your ruler down on the score line and then make sure when you use your cutting knife that you cut into the metal ruler and that way you'll make sure you stay nice and straight. Try and do it in one cut. Okay, so you'll see I've cut those slots there. I've just realised I've missed one score line. So, but it's fine, you can still add that one here. Some of you may have noticed it. It's this three inch one here. So you've got your little three and a half, which is this one here, but you just want to pop that in. And at three inches, again, just hobby as stylus. You're just scoring it between those two cut lines that you would have just made. Okay. So now we can start folding it. So this one needs to become a mountain fold. So the next one will automatically want to be a valley. This next one needs to be a mountain along with the one opposite it, which it will already be starting to do. You need to pop the ends out so they become mountains and everything else will just automatically go into a valley fold. But you'll be able to fold that over and it will give you your five by seven card size. And then just make sure you burnish those well. So it's up to you whether you've got one or two of them. You can also, because I've already done this one, you could also stick them this way and have this shaped card if you wanted to. But we're going to stick ours so we have something like this. I think that's going to look really nice. So all the papers and everything that I'm using is from kit number 22 from the Papercraft Society. If you love sunflowers, you're going to adore this one. It's really, really pretty. So I've already gone ahead and made my matte layers here. So I've made myself a stencil. In fact, I've got two because I've got one. If you want to make this piece here on the inside, I'm doing mine differently on this one. We're actually going to have a large square. I've got a different one. This one's actually for the back. But if you want to make this shape here and you want to do more of this kind of style or just a double uh, gatefold, then this is the piece here and you'll see how that fits inside here and it gives you a nice border. So you want to cut yourself a piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarter card. Make a template first because I keep these and then I've got them to quickly make these cards because you just draw around this. You then want to, along the short side, so along the four and three quarter side, you want to put a pencil mark at one and a quarter and two and three quarters at the top and along the bottom and then join those pencil lines up. You can see there I've got my pencil lines. Then along the longer side, you're going to mark at one two, four and three quarters and five and three quarters along this top and along the bottom here. And again, join up those pencil lines. OK, once you've then got all of those lines in place, you just want to cut away the top three kind of rectangles and the bottom three rectangles. So you have that shape there. It's very easy to cut out. You just follow the pencil lines and that will give you that matte layer for this piece here. Then for the ones I've already got here, so you'll see how I've just cut these out. So one or two of those, depending on um, which card style you do. Again, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. This time along the short side, you want to mark a pencil mark at one and a quarter and three and a quarter. Top and bottom, join them up. And then along this side here, three quarters of an inch, one and three quarters, five and six inches. Again, do those measurements along the top and the bottom. Join them up with a pencil and this time you're cutting all of the inside away. So you'll notice on that one, we've removed all of the outer part because it's going inside here. But for this one, we want to remove the inside part because it's going on the outside. And you'll see how that then sits on there. I will take photos of these two, pop them on my blog and I will also take a photo of this one. I'm going to redo this one so I can add in how far down and things like that. So those are the measurements and everything to make these shaped pieces. Now, if you don't want to do these detailed ones, you can just cut, for example, you could do maybe one long strip there, a long strip here, just a piece here, and then the same longer strips there. And again, inside, you'll see now what we're gonna do. Here's the one I've already made. So this is using the beautiful stamps from this kit. 
and the papers as well. But there's the stamp set, so you get this large sunflower down there. So that's the one that I've used, and that was the the bigger one that I used on the, the first card that I showed you. So I've already gone ahead and done all that. You can watch this Facebook Live back where I made this card. So if you want to see me, how I made the 3D version, colouring and all that kind of stuff, you can see that. And I've got that technique on one of my scraps videos again. I'll link that one. But you'll see with this one here, rather than I could have made maybe this template, I could have done two of them inside here and overlapped them inside, but I wanted to do this way instead so we're going to have that's going to go inside and then I've cut myself all of these little pieces here to go on all the extras so I'm going to get that one stuck down in a minute this piece here this measures four and a quarter by four and a half for the green matte layer and then the one that I've colored is four by four and a quarter you'll see that fits perfectly inside there i'm then going to stick this one over the top because i've already popped the mats and layers on that but you can stick them either or so you want to put the left over the top or the right over the top it's entirely up to you but i'm going to stick all that down first and then i'm going to give you the measurements for those pieces So that's everything stuck down and I've also stamped this sentiment here which again is in that stamp set I just thought it looked really nice either side of that pretty image and then these are the pieces now to decorate the sides here so you're going to want two pieces which are two and three quarters by one and a quarter that's going to go there and it's just the the middle part of this piece you're not really wasting a lot of cardstock either you you do use most of it then you want three pieces, sorry, no, four pieces of one and a quarter by three quarters. And they're going to go on each of these. So I think my other one's underneath the card there and then there. But, and then you want two to go in the middle here and they're one and a quarter. These are the same size, sorry. So you actually want six pieces of one and a quarter by three quarters. And they're just going to cover there. And then I've got my Get Well Soon, which again is from the stamp set and I'm going to stick that just there with some foam and then I've cut that size again which was that middle piece there's that other section that's going to go on the back and that's where I'm going to write my message so I'm going to get that all finished And there's the finished card. I think it's beautiful. I think it's perfect for any big stamps you have, any lovely big like topper dies. Some of you might have some square dies that are of similar size that would fit into that space. I think it's really nice. I can see a big number, special birthday or wedding anniversary in here. And I like these panels that you can stamp sentiments or just fill with more pattern paper. I think it'll look wonderful. So I hope you've enjoyed this style. Like I said, there's quite a lot of ways that you can do this. You can see this one half here. You can have just this on its own. You can add this to this side. Um, you can flip that around so it's joined the other way and then add these pieces. So there really is quite a lot of ways to, to change this to suit your style. This one folds down to a eight and a half by seven size. So you'd need to make your own envelopes. And I've got my DIY envelope tutorial, which I'll link up here. So you can very easily make an envelope. This one here will fit in a five by seven. There's a bit of dimension here, so I'd probably put this in a box envelope. And again, I'll link those as well at the end of the tutorial. But yeah, really pleased with these. So I'm going to be sending these off to some people that I know. This will hopefully put a smile on their face. And the glossy accents, again, if anybody's asking, is this here. And that's what I've added into the centres of the sunflowers. And also just on the little bees here, you can see. You can also... Put it over the water there as well if you wanted to. But yeah, 
really happy with these ones so as always thank you for watching today if you've enjoyed my tutorial and you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell and that way you'll be notified every time i upload a new video see you all again soon bye